Hi everyone, welcome to Sunnah Share. So in this video, what we are going to see is extreme reversal setup examples. So not like examples, I got alerts on the first day of Monday, May 31st, I gave four stocks analysis. Um, these are the four stocks which I shared analysis. Yeah, just check that video or I will try, try to tag this video over here. And um, now let's move on to the other uh, four days. We have got some alerts. So let's see how those alerts perform. And so that we'll be able to understand whether the extreme reversal setup has given some profits or it is not working good or my screen has to improve and all those things can be discussed here. Yeah. And um, what's next? So stick disclaimer applicable because uh, whatever I'm just showing in this, it's like uh, I read from a book. I made a screener on my own. That screener can be correct. It may not be uh, correct. So I'm not able to guarantee that. I just, uh, though the screener gives me alerts, I just see with my naked eye and understand whether the chart is uh, giving a proper setup or not. And then we'll go for a trade. Clear? And um, so if you guys wanted to uh, apply this strategy, it's up to you guys. And do not blame me for your profits and loss. Come, let's move on to this video. And the first stock, what we are going to see is Coal India. I'm not going to consider these four stocks because these four stocks are, are already been discussed in that video. I'll try to tag this video, try to tag that video along with this video. Now let's move on. So June 1st, 9.45, I got an alert, which is Coal India. Fine, June 1st. So this is the extreme reversal setup alert we have got. So now trust criteria. It should be extreme candle and that extreme candle should be more than the average of these stage candles, which is not the more than the average of it. So, whole India did not satisfy the first condition itself. So, not going to consider this for a trade. The next stock is Indus in Band. Okay, the date is June 1st. So, June 1st, this is a candle. Awesome. So, first candle is an extreme reversal candle. Yes, good. And the average of the candle is like twice. Yes, good. First condition satisfied. It should have a big and it's like fair. Okay, not bad. It's good. Fair, okay, not bad. And then the next candle should be an opposite color candle. Yes, good. So below this candle entry, top of this candle lesson, got some good profit. Clear? So Indusin Band gave some good profit. And then Tata Motors. Okay, so first candle is an extreme candle, and the average of all the candles should be um, twice. Uh, it's like these candles should be twice the average of these candles. Yes. Upper wick, yes, good, very good. Uh, opposite color, awesome. Good because of setup and the uh, bottom this candle shows the entry and I is the um, uh, uh, stop loss and we have got some good amount of profit. So on June first, three alerts came, two got success. We are now the next day. It is Divi Slab. Okay, so the date is on June two. So June two is over here. Okay, so let me mark and this is the candle June two. And then uh, this is the first candle and average of these candles into two. Yes, it is okay. Upper side width is also good. And the third can and then third uh, rule is like uh, the second candle should be the opposite color candle. Good. Above this can uh, below this candle entry and above this candle is the stop loss. It has go gone moved good, but just check for the risk reward ratio whether it is covering or not and try to take an entry on this. Clear. Then going for Wipro. Okay. So first candle is an extreme candle and the average size of the other candles and compared to it, it's like more, this extreme candle is twice the average of this candle and it's like, and it has a bottom width, good. And uh, the uh, color is opposite, good. And awesome, yeah, awesome. So DV Slab and Wipro both performed good on second. We are now on June 3rd, HCL Tech. So this is HCL Tech and this is going to be the weekly reversal setup. Okay, and the average of this candle, not that good. Okay, it, it will be exactly two or I'm just checking with the naked eye, but it has a good upper wick and the color is also, uh, next color, opposite color. So that is also good, all the conditions satisfied. You have to go take an entry below this and then keep a stop loss over this. But what? But if you see this extreme candle, will you say this as an extreme candle or will you say this is an extreme candle? I could see this is an extreme candle because it is, it is bigger than this candle. So I better avoid this thing. So it's will take avoid. Clear and then ITC. So ITC, this is the trade. Clear. This is the extreme reversal candle and average of this. So let me see. It is one rupee and this is around two rupees. So it's like exactly twice. Okay, condition satisfied. Uh, lower wick is there. The second candle is an opposite candle. Candle awesome, but then uh, it did not perform good and it went to the stop loss. So this went to stop loss. ITC. And then TCS. 
So TCS um, average candle three one three zero to one points, and this is going to be just um, seventeen points or like thirty twenty three points. So this is not a proper weekly whistle. Now this is not extreme candle because it is not even twice the average of this candle. But lower week is there. The second color candle is also good, but uh, this first candle is not much satisfied because I could see the size is not that much bigger. It is around twenty three points, but if you see over here. Uh, this is around 10 points this candle is around 12 points so 12 into 2 24 so we have we should get some more points over here so this is not a proper weekly whistle so this is also not it so one trade and when uh, among these three one trade only we got and that went to stop loss right now june 4th hero motor corp awesome so this is good uh, this is a weekly whistle sorry extreme whistle setup candle is good the average of this candle also bigger okay Okay, good. And then the opposite color candle is also good. So the, there is a fair amount of it, not a good amount, but a fair amount, fine. And thirty-seven uh, is the entry, and fifty-two <coughs> is the stop loss of fifteen points. We have got only one into one, and then after that the stop loss got it. But basically, we ex we need to expect the target to hit over fifteen. So that will be giving a good risk reward ratio. So I would consider this as a uh, um, failure trade. Okay. So Indus and Bank. So Indus and Bank, yes, uh, the candle is good. Extreme candle. The average of these candles is like twice of uh, like this candle is twice of the average of candles. Upper wick, the opposite color, awesome entry. Just like one zero one seven is the and this six point stop loss, and we have got nearly good amount of points over. And then NTPC, <coughs> NTPC over here. Average of the candle is good. Upper week is there, but this candle completely uh, like looks like an extreme candle. So this is not a good trade to take. So NTPC are going to avoid. So out of these trades, we have got Indus and um, uh, uh, profit one, Hero Motor the loss one, so one is the one, and is ITC the loss. So two loss, one uh, one profit, and here both are profit. So three profits and one a uh, two loss, and here two profits, so around five profits and and two loss. So this is what um, the extreme reversal setup alerts we have got, and this is what we have discussed. And I could see it is okay. I'm, uh, my screen is not that perfect, but I made a decent screener, and I could see some uh, good amount of alerts. Maybe to avoid these kind of trades like NTPC, maybe I need to further add another screener just to mention that the uh, next candle, the after the extreme reversal candle, it should be, it should be between the high and low of the extreme candle, not like. Uh, breaking the high or low of the exchange candle, maybe that condition I need to input so that the uh, these alerts can be avoided, like NTPC alerts can be avoided. Anyways, though I have written the screener and uh, some more additional filtrations can also be done, but the amount of uh, stocks I get in my alerts is very very less. Okay, I concentrate on Nifty, I concentrate on MRA, and I concentrate on exchange reversal setup. This is what I am doing. I have not still gone to Doji reversal setup. I have not still gone to Mutsi reversal setup. Still sticking to this, I'm able to just make some decent amount of returns. You guys are also watching the same trades over here, so it's up to you guys to decide whether you guys want to opt in or opt in or not for what to apply the strategy and to use it in your day-to-day -day trading, um, intraday trading. Clear? To avoid seeing the charts, you always need to write the screener and you need to stick to the screener only. And otherwise, it is too difficult for you guys to um, go for the trades or take some trades on for any. Yeah. So that's it from my end, guys. If you feel the content is good, kindly give a like and share. And if you want the knowledge needs to be shared to others, kindly do a share. And then, um, if you have any feedback, try to comment in the comment section. I am pretty sure that I don't see people will be watching till this zone. But this is the point where I am just giving you some hint. After like every um, stock, whatever I've discussed now, if you see that uh, the extreme reversal setup balance has been discussed, so just mark the support zone, so like or like previous day high and previous day low zones. And see whether um, <clears throat> whether it is respecting that or whether any reaction is happening at those zones. So that will give you some more uh, hint to uh, streamline or to modify or to uh, get some good amount of returns. Okay. So thanks a lot. Check in for more videos.